this to your end of the month reading. Sorry, these are coming out so late. I did have a death in my family. Um, so I'm a little behind. Okay, guys. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's get right in here. See what's going on in your energy. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys. Let's see what's going on with you. For the end of June through the beginning of July. Nine of Cups. Very nice. Looking for your Nine of Cups. Looking for your wishes and your dreams of satisfaction and achievement to come true. Okay. And let's get an Oracle card to clarify on that Nine of Cups and see what's really going on. Sacrifice. Taking a self-sacrifice sacrifice card is the same as the hangman card. Okay, so <clears throat> over here you have the nine of cups. So, you know, the nine of cups, a lot of people say, oh, well, you're being selfish. You know, a lot of people see it as a selfish card. I do not see it as a selfish card. Everybody has their wishes and dreams that they want for themselves. That is not selfish. That is normal um, human activity, right? There's things out, in, you know, out there that I want for myself that nobody else wants. And you have the right to have that. Okay, you work hard for it. Okay, um, it could be just security and contentment, right? No matter what it is, it's something that you feel like, you know, I worked hard for and I'm winning. It's mine. And showing that you have the confidence and whether it's love or, like I said, whatever it is that you're looking for that is your nine of cups. You know, did you already win or are you looking to win? With the hangman energy over here with the self-sacrifice, it's like you are taking on a self-sacrifice. You are doing everything in your power to get to your nine of cups. Or did you already do that? And if you already did that, then that means the struggle is over. You took a self-sacrifice. You did everything that you were supposed to do. You went through the crossroads. You put, you know, you crossed your T's and dotted all your I's and you got exactly where you need to be and you no longer have to struggle to get there. Okay, so, you, you know, accepted that responsibility all by yourself to get to where you wanted. Maybe you had to self-sacrifice certain things. Maybe you had to, um, you know, sell something that you had to save the money to get exactly what you wanted. Maybe you had too many TVs and you were like, you know what, I don't need this other TV. You know, it took me a long time to get this one TV, but you know what? I really want this, and I really wanted this forever. You know, or maybe you self-sacrifice by taking on an extra job just to go get that Camaro, right? Because that was your dream, right? That's what self-sacrifice is. It's putting yourself out there to self-sacrifice for the things that you want. Sometimes we even self-sacrifice for our families. If you know that you're not, you know... You don't, you know, have enough food in the house. Maybe you make smaller portions for yourself and you self-sacrifice your portions of food so that you can feed the rest of the family, right? Make sure that they're all eating properly. Okay, so self-sacrifice is a non-selfish act. Okay, it's, and then sometimes it feels like, for some people, they, it even feels like sometimes it is selfish though as well. So it depends on how you're seeing the self-sacrifice. No matter how it is, it's against you. Because you're doing extras for the self-sacrifice. So, you know, <clears throat> depends on how others are seeing this, I think, is really how this is going. And the reason is, is because, like I said, a lot of times people see the Nine of Cups as a very selfish move. You want a Camaro. Well, I don't think you need a Camaro. But you're like, but I work an extra job and self-sacrifice for a Camaro. Okay, and your person's like, no, okay, well, you're being awfully selfish. You know, so it depends on how it's looked at. Okay, so let's see exactly what's going on. In the present, you have the light, which is the sun card. So that's very, very good. You're looking at all the happiness, all the bliss. You have the firm foundations with the base sharp over here is I have the happiness that I need. 
obstacles and challenges in reverse. Very nice. Whatever obstacles and challenges were holding you back, they, you were getting past them. Why were you getting past them? Because there were things that you loved, things that you wanted, right, that you have inside your mind. You're like, yep, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, it could even be a love relationship. It could be anything. In the near future, you have the wisdom and the fertility. Wow, you got the prosperity that you wanted. Somehow or another, or it's coming to you by keeping your heart chakra. Now, what's very interesting is in the near past, you have a heart chakra, in which I love. And over here, in the near future, your heart chakra is open again. So whatever you love, you love it a lot. And it's going to not only come from in the near past, but it's also going to show back up in the near future. That's why the near past is so important for the near future. Because the near past, present, and future is one big, long string. Right? They actually string off of each other. Okay? So, you have the obstacles and challenges are upside down. You're like, I'm done with these obstacles and challenges. I don't need that. I'm looking out. Whoa, what you looking at? You're looking adventurously out there. You're looking, you know, either you're looking to go on an adventure or you're just daydreaming about the things that you want. It's like my obstacles and challenges are over and now I get to do the things I want. I get to look out. I get to look at those things. And you're focusing hard on them. You might even be, like I said, for some of you, you might be taking on an extra job to get your Nine of Cups. Okay, so yes, it's something you've been dreaming about for a long time. You even have nostalgic feelings about this. Okay, or you've been working on this a long time. From the past to now. No matter what it is, something that you've loved from the past that you've been focusing a lot of hard work on. So, on top of the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Wands. Determined to get to this Nine of Cups. You have this Nine of Cups in your head. You know that there's options that you can get to having whatever it is you want. Okay. I think for a lot of you, a lot of you, it's materialism. Okay. I think it's materialism. I think it's something you actually want. Okay. I not really feeling a whole lot of love here it could be take it how it resonates but i see a lot of either you're saving money to travel or you're buying something there's many options you know maybe you want this necklace that you've seen and you've been looking at it for a long time take it how it is right but it i do believe it's materialism having this this nine of pentacles is a taurus capricorn card you're looking at materialistic items is what i believe i believe you are really trying to get to like I said, this new car, whatever it is. And you've been working very hard in the, in the near past trying to get past it. You might even been trying to, um, your obstacles and challenges could have been not making enough money at the time or trying to pay off some bills so that you can save extra money for this thing that you want. Okay, like I said, it's going to be a little different for everybody. The near future, or I'm sorry, the present, excuse me, not going that far yet. Okay, in the present, we have the light. The sun, feeling happy. Look at that. I think you're saving money. There it is. Holding tight to this, this dream. Holding tight to this idea of your nine of cups of what you want. And not only that, I believe you are saving money for it. Because this is like, I have been saving a lot of money. I have been holding tight to this idea of what I want. Now, messages coming in with the eight of wands. Messages, but messages of what? Yeah, Queen of Wands coming in. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Mm -hmm. Messages coming in. Mm -hmm. Clarify on the messages coming in. You have somebody coming in talking to you that has something to do with this Nine of Cups. Star wishing, wishing hopeful. Are they hopeful that you get what you want? They're hopeful for love. Okay, so in the middle, okay. <laughs> Here we go with a twist. Okay, so here's a twist for you. Let me just look at this for one second here, Cap Aquarius, okay? Because, yeah, okay, so you're over here trying to get your nine of cups and you're nostalgically doing all these things in the near past. You're doing everything for yourself. 
And then you're holding tight to your money and doing everything you want. And then this, this message comes in. Like, maybe for some of you, your nine of cups was a person. Maybe you were getting all your decks in a row because you wanted this, you were determined to get this, a beautiful woman or man, right? Check it out, resonate this beautiful person, we're going to say. Um, because all of a sudden you have this message come through from this queen of wands, taking on that wands energy. It doesn't have to be a wands. And they're telling you that they're hopeful that you two can start up a relationship or hold tight to a relationship. Okay. Ten of Cups, they see you as very achieved. They see that you have, this is new love. Okay, so they want to start, okay, while you're in the middle of trying to get your Nine of Cups, for some of you, maybe the Nine of Cups is this love. Maybe you're working very hard to get this new love. Um, for others of you, it really feels like you were doing something different. You were looking at, you know, I'm going to get this new car. I'm going to get these things. I want all these things. I got this new job, but however it is. And then this, all of a sudden this person comes in and they're looking at you and they're like, I'm very hopeful and wishing that, you know, we can get together in the middle of all this. And you're thinking with the two swords, you're like, well, I'm kind of busy right now. I'm kind of doing this thing. Um, but you're like, wow. In other ways, I'm also kind of feeling like it's sitting on top of the Ten of Cups over here. It's kind of like, wow. Wow, I ain't going to get my Nine of Cups. Yeah, because you think this person as the Empress. But you're moving slowly toward this person. You see this person is very prosperous and beautiful. Um, I mean, this person adores you. And it looks like they've been wishing for you or, you know, coming towards you. But you're moving slowly towards love. And it looks like because you're still trying to get to your... For some of you, I'm telling you, it's, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a relationship that you were going after. You were focused on something else. You had other achievements, other goals, and this person just popped out of nowhere. And I mean, maybe they didn't really, like, pop out of nowhere. I mean, in the cards, it looks like they popped out of nowhere, right? I mean, but, uh, I mean, maybe that you knew that they were around no matter what, right? It's just that all of a sudden they come towards you and it's like in the middle of you doing all this and now you're thinking, you're like, hmm, I'm kind of in the middle of getting my world together over here with my nine of cups. So you're really thinking about this and you're moving slow towards this love that this person is offering you to be dealing with a, a Taurus or a Libra or like I said, a fire sign for some of you. Um, but yeah. And you're like, kind of, kind of doing my own thing right now. So now you feel like you have three of cups. So now the three of cups, I, I kind of see this. I mean, it's like, now you have three of cups. You're like really happy. And I think, don't get me wrong. It seems like you're very happy that this person came towards you and knew love. And they're telling you that they adore you. It just threw you for a loop. Um, but now you have the three of cups. So it's, it makes me feel like, yeah, it's like called this, this card we're going to call, um, my nine of cups plus you plus me doing my thing. So it's almost like you're trying to get three things, you know, you're trying to get yourself together plus your nine of cups plus this new love. So you're like, cheers. Right? That's a big happy occasion. I mean, you didn't turn them down. If anything, you're moving slowly towards them. But like I said, all your focus is really over here on doing whatever you're self-sacrificing for. Um, in the near future, you have the wisdom and the fertility. You've got that prosperity going on with the imprints over here. So it looks like you're actually holding on to this new love, this new imprint. You're, you're holding on to them. You have the justice, the page of cups. Yeah, there it is. The page of cups, the three of wands and the ace of pentacles. So you got what you wanted, <laughs> whatever that nine of cups is, you're getting what you wanted. You put in all the effort and all the work for it. 
seems justified and it seems like the perfect timing for you to be able to do such a thing. You use the wisdom to get exactly where you want to be. You know the truth. You know the truth was that you, you know, you balanced your scales. I believe that you really balanced your scales through moderation is what's really going on over here with the justice card. You use the wisdom. You put in the wisdom. You balanced everything beautifully. Just completely beautifully. And... In the end, it gives you the Ace of Pentacles because everything just kind of came together completely in a row. It's just consecutively just got rid of this, doing this, got rid of that, did this, you know, and it's just very balanced and very beautiful. So then it makes you feel like, you know, you're when you do have the page um, of cups over here, now you have, you feel like you can take the offering you know, because remember, it was moving really slow over here with the imprints, but it does feel like you're actually going to take this cup now because you feel like you got exactly where you want to be. Like I said, everything was in moderation. So now you feel like you can literally, 100% with confidence, take the cups from the imprints. Okay, so, you know, now not only can you take it, but you can give it back. Because you're actually, you know, now you're seeing the sensuality and the passion from this person. And you're like, you know, I already got my Nine of Cups. Everything's good. I'm, you know, we can do all of this. And, you know, and you're just feeling very, you know, very free, very happy. And don't have any misgivings about, you know, giving back the love that, you, you know, that they're throwing at you. Before, it just feels like you didn't really want to, you know, take a whole lot of it because you were really busy doing something else very focused. Okay. So with the three of wands, you can kind of look out now and you're saying, yeah, let's do this and we can do that. And, you know, we can do things together now. You know, I mean, if you were buying a car, maybe you're going to take them out in your new, you know, Camaro, you know, whatever it is. You have more strength within this relationship than you did before. But like I said, it's because, you know, you can take a stand now because you feel like you've already gotten through the self-sacrifice that you did. Now you can launch new plans and do things with this inference over here because your heart is, you see your heart is open over here to get the nine of cups and now your heart is over here is open to receiving and giving more of this inference's love. Now, mind you, if somebody was actually their nine of cups was trying to get this inference, there is that possibility that you worked really hard, okay, to get to this inference, okay, this queen of wands, okay? So, maybe, you know, that was the whole focus to begin with for some of you, you know. Maybe you wanted that self-satisfaction with this person and you worked very hard to get to that person, right? So, there is that. Okay, but you feel like you have your ace of coins. You have the hopes and promises. You have your satisfaction. Your satisfaction. You have everything. You have the new beginnings that you wanted. You worked so hard. You have the cooperations from the emperors. You have you know, the cooperation and the stability of whatever it was that you were working on in the near past. So you feel so stable. You know, your love relationship with the imprints is moving beautiful and to the next level with the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, shoot. For some of you, maybe this is a wife who's getting ready to have a baby. Maybe she came in to tell you you're having a baby. I mean, look, she's, you know, woman with child, pregnant. You know, maybe that was the whole thing. I have to self-sacrifice because we're having a baby. Right? That could be, you know, and maybe the, the queen of cups here with the new love, maybe the new love is that baby. Getting ready for a new baby that's slowly coming in. Right? And there's so many scenarios here, you guys. <laughs> I can't give them all... We will be here all day, right? Um, I'm just trying to throw out as many as possible because I know men are you, you, you men are watching and you're like, you know, we're having a baby or I'm getting a new car that is my baby, you know, and uh, and then some of you, you know, some of you have children and you know already have children, so maybe you're doing something else. Oh my gosh, there's so many scenarios going on here. So you're just gonna have to um, take that to how that resonates. You know, if I sat over here and let Spirit give me every idea that's going on, we would be here for nine hours, right? <clears throat> so, uh, but yeah, a beautiful reading no matter what, because it's really showing that you're stepping up to the plate for what you want. 
no matter what your nine of cups is. So let's get, um, actually I wanna get one of these cards today. Love and light, beautiful. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. So, yeah. And you have strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. And yeah, definitely over here if you're going to self-sacrifice for people, for people and yourself, right? Okay, and let's get an angel romance card. Just for those who, you know, if I do see a love coming in, or it could be already somebody, you know, it could be your wife or your husband. So, you know, however it is, we'll just see what's going on here. Yeah, no matter what, this is a true love. And worth waiting for, for some of you, the new love is already worth waiting for. And for others of you, it's your true love. I'll take it how that resonates. And yes, children. Thank you, spirit. Yes, I seen the children. Like I said, some of you might, I'm, I just feel like some of you are getting ready for a new baby. Just plain out going to say it. And you're getting all your P's and Q's together for this new baby. You know, I didn't really see it at first until I seen this card here with these three cards. And let's see what the angels have to say, and we'll be done with this reading. Okay. And those of you who are having a new baby coming in, congratulations. For those of you just, you know what, going out and getting your, your nine of cups and self-sacrificing and doing all that hard work, congrats to you. That is, it does take a lot of strength to do, to step up to the plate like that. Okay, so congrats to all of you, every one of you, is it does take a lot of strength to do something like that. It takes courage. It takes strength. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. A year from now. Ooh, maybe some of you are having a baby for a year from now. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. Okay. You know, maybe you just found out you were pregnant, you know, or having a baby. So it's got that nine months to go. Okay. And anything else? Yes, I see that. If this is new love and this person is like, how come you're moving so slow to me? Just make them compromise with you, you know. And you're compromising because I see the moderation right here. Compromising between every little detail that you're going through. You are definitely, because you're moderating and keeping everything as balanced as possible. So I think that really you're already weighing your scales and keeping everything very compromised. Okay. So very good, guys. It was a beautiful reading. It's doing awesome out there. Okay. So that was the card for you, or that was your reading for you guys. And um, I will see you guys next time. Okay. Peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.